Hello, welcome to MTG Pro Tutor. I'm Sean Pennard, your host, and today I'm opening this Cons Atake Booster Pack. Let's dive right in and see what we get. So whenever I am drafting, the first thing I always do is take out the marketing card, which in this case is a token, take out our land, and then look at the rare. We have Howl of the Horde. All right, so this is a two red sorcery. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And Raid, if you attack with a creature this turn, you can cast um, copy that spell an additional time. So you get, to, you get to copy it twice. So the question is, uh, what spells are good enough to copy and how much mana do you need to play this spell and that spell on the same turn? So, th yeah, there's a lot of setup cost for this particular card and it doesn't really excite me and make me want to go uh, you know, jump in on red. So we'll set it aside, and it's not an automatic first pick. Let's see what else the pack has to offer. Sage Eye Harrier is pretty good, and one five flying. It does have morph, so you can turn it face up and and block with it when, when you know when you need it. We fate, uh, not. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Draw two cards for four mana. There's definitely better ways to get cards into your hand. But Fire Expert three one with prowess for three mana serves its place, but again, not first picking. All right, so we have some removal here. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. So, you know, the big guys, the big players on the field, you can take them out for four mana, not bad. All right, here we go, Savage Punch. This is this is actually really good because target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. And as long as you have a creature with uh, four or greater, power four or greater, then that creature gets plus two, plus two first. So that's really good. It's uh, pretty much removal <laughs> for two mana because, um, you can set it up to where you take out one of your opponent's creatures and then you're able to attack. So um, that's really good. Debilitating Injury is uh, the answer to early morphs. You play it and while they don't have mana to turn it face up, you can just get rid of it. Keep in mind that people have started to... Um, the word on the street is people play their weakest morphs first, followed by their second... Um, their second morph is, is usually the better one. So if you're going to debilitate, if you have a choice between which morph to use debilitating injury on, shoot for the second one. Smoke Teller is a bear with an upside. It's a two-two for two, and you can look at the face. You can look at target face down creature. That'd be nice, especially if you're about to use debilitating injury. You know which one's which. Soul Tie Scavenger at three-three flying, which is you know a nice to have. And it's even better if you have a Soul Tie deck and you can really bring his cost down because a three-three flying for six mana is awful. But with Delve, you can bring it down to a reasonable amount. He's good for decks that aren't in Soul Tide. Uh, also, because um, it's good to have one or two Delve um, targets for uh, for your the cards in your graveyard, because otherwise they're not doing any anything for you. Rakshasa's Secret. Um, you target opponent, discards two cards, and you mill two. Pony Backward get Brigade, it's a 2-2 two, two for 5, and you get 3 goblins when it's turned face up or enters the battlefield. So that's that's actually really good for token making decks. And then you have Scion of Glaciers, which gets plus 1, minus 1 for each blue. So you can get it up to a 6-1, which is not bad. Our first or our second uncommon here is Ice Feather Aven, a 2-2 two, two flying for 2 mana with Morph. When it's turned face up, you may return to another target creature to his owner's hand. So, I mean, that's really good. I like Ice Feather even. And Air of the Wilds, 2 2 with Death Touch. Whenever Air of the Wilds attacks, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, Air of the Wild gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. So, uh, I like Air of the Wilds a lot because um, the Death Touch is very relevant and a 3 3 Death Touch is really nice. And then, um, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to turn it, you know, to turn it on. So, <clears throat> I think we're going to go with uh, Air of the Wilds here. I like it better than our rare, and the reason being because it's in, it's in green, which is a very good color to be in. It's a two-two with Death Touch, and it has an, an extra you know ability, so uh, you can easily um, and then you can target this with Savage Punch and things like that, and make it. Um, um, you know, make it kill anything that fights because it has that touch, so that's nice. Anyway, so we'll take Air of the Wilds out of this pack, and I'd love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. What would you pick? I'm Sean Penrod, and we'll see you in the next pack.